it's me. Today we're checking out some things that I learned on TikTok. With a lock like that, I can still break into your house and I can do no, it quietly. Those are very safe and secure. What are you doing? And he just hit the, hit the lock with the charger. He let himself in. I have been on pick lock TikTok lately where it's like, I'm convinced no lock is safe. Anybody can break into your house. All you need is like a lock picky kit and just do, 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 do. Squiggle it around a little bit. Do a little dancey dance. The lock is picked. But what he did with it, that was smooth. He just put a wire, grab the thing and just like. Okay, that was really good. You earned your way into this house. How do snowboarders train with no snow? What? I didn't even know such a device existed. It's like a treadmill for a snowboard. Yeah, that looks fun. Why don't they have this at the gym for the rest of us? I wanna ride a snowboard. Like that actually looks really fun. Like they gotta put this in arcades, put it at the gym. I'd like to use it. You know there are islands that are ruled by animals? Like Red Crab Island. And it's on Christmas Island. <laughs> and they got Christmas 24-7. You know, Christmas Island, it's always Christmas. You know, if you listen closely, all you'll hear is Money, money, money. Hey, they running over the crab! Hey, boo! Get out the way! They just casually drive it through crabs. I mean, to be fair, they shouldn't have been on the road. Like, people got places to be. There are people that live on the island with the crabs. Finding out I'm having triplets, not knowing how big I'll get. At 10 weeks, 15 weeks. Hey, it's getting big. Is this supposed to be that big that fast? Two weeks left? Oh, hey, that's how they're like chilling in there? It looks like they're all snuggled around the fire, using everybody's back for warmth. Except this guy, he's trying to grab some toes. And this is just crazy to me, cause it's like, oh, I'm gonna have a baby. And then boom, three babies. At what? That's too many. There is an Easter egg inside the joystick of a Switch controller. Like, look. <gasps> is this real? Look inside. Thanks to all Gabe fans. That's so cool. It's just hiding in there. I don't got a Switch controller, so I can't confirm this. But if you have one, check the joystick. Things that are bigger than you think. Megalodon mouth. Oh, <gasps> wait. That's comparing it to a regular shark? My brain's trying to like figure out how big that is. That's like a whale. Now I gotta Google Megalodon shark versus whale to see the size comparison. No, 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 no. Whale is much larger. Almost double the size of this thing. The ocean is scary. <laughs> Pterodactyl. Ah! Wait, that was not how I was expecting it to look like. Yeah, I thought they looked like this. Like small beak, big wing. I'm sorry, but those wings cannot support the weight of that neck. Let alone the beak. What he got so much beak for? Can peck at people a mile away. Like, that's not even fair. And he can fly. Crazy how birds these days can't do no damage but poop on your car. Really disappointing your ancestors. The huge ice skating arenas, how do they make them? They don't just magically spawn out of the ground every year. They fill it up with water and then freeze the water. And then, of course, if you're smart, you know that frozen water is ice. <laughs> I was today years old when I realized you use the oatmeal packet as your measuring cup. I'm learning more on TikTok than I am in college. TikTok is free. Y'all didn't know this? I mean, there's always gonna be somebody who doesn't know something, but like what? Were you whipping out the measuring cup for the oatmeal packet? It literally says fill line. Y'all don't read the directions. Y'all look at the microwave directions, but you don't see the little fill line. Like you fill the packet with water until the line. Uh, well, if you didn't know, now you know. Did you know how a starfish eats? The mouth is on the inside, in the middle. This mouth. So when you see a mermaid and wonder how they're attached, now you know. Anyways, let's see this bad boy eat. It's feeding time. And it takes the little tentacles, grabs it, and it brings it to the mouth hole so it can chow down. Oh, that was very fascinating. So there's this little beetle device. Just step on it and then, <gasps> ooh. It just takes off your shoe. Oh, it makes it so easy. Oh, they have one. What? That's so cool. I didn't know that either. I thought it was decor. What's it do it? Just hide it in the corner. What, well, all of these years, you could have been helping me take off my sweaty shoes. Like, you don't have to, like, dig in your ankle. You don't have to undo the shoelaces. It just, like, holds it down with its little horns. It's just oh, magical. You know that TikTok sound that's like, what's the prop? Dog. A while ago, I found out that it was from the show Victorious, which I watched religiously in high school. What's the prop? 
dog. Uh, leave it to Jade to be iconic. She was carrying that show. Well, I mean, that's where it comes from. Okay, good to know. How do they get the bones out of salmon? Cause you know, I like my salmon boneless. There are chains that scrape the surface of the salmon and raise the bones. Ooh. And then the rollers lift up the bone and then the water pushes it into the trash. Okay, bones in fish terrify me. Because when I was a kid, my mom told me not to eat the bones in fish. If you get a bone in your fish, spit it out because it'll puncture your, your intestine or something and you'll die. So don't eat the bones of the fish. So I've always been scared of fish bones. Tell me how unreasonable my fear is. Also, why would my parents tell me that? Like I would have spit them out anyway. Oh, the yeah, hotels be lying to everybody. Nice name brand cereals. Yes, we have Frosted Flakes, Raisin Bran. Where are you going? What's in that door? They cap into you. None of it's name brand. It's all a lie. You mean those weren't Fruit Loops? They sure do taste like it. I don't care what none of y'all say. The hotels with a free breakfast, slap. If it gets me out of bed, six in the morning, to go down, make me a little plate, you know it's good. I just hit different. I don't care if it's not name brand. To be fair, they did do me a little dirty. Putting the stickers on it like Frosted Flakes, only because it looked better. Putting on a Fruit Loop sticker. These are not Toucan Sam approved. He don't support Fruit Lies. Do you know when you accidentally refresh TikTok and you're three seconds into the best and divine video of your life? Here's how to find that video. Go to the Discover page, then click search, type a little asterisk, then click the filter, the menu shows up, swipe on watched videos, then just tap apply. Ta-da! Those are all the videos you've seen. Wait! I'm trying this right now. I swear, if you're gonna show me some Rickroll video. Um... Well, well, well! Here are my videos! Hey, that's pretty cool. Also, thinking about going through your man's phone, see what kind of TikToks he's been watching. Pretty good hack. Just saying. I see a video I like and then I accidentally swipe up and I'm like, I thought it was long lost. I ain't never gonna see it again. But you know. Fun facts about McDonald's. That life hack, get a fry with no salt, ask for salt at the window and get a fry fresh is bullshit. First of all, you can just ask for the fry made fresh and we'll make it fresh. Will you really? Will you really make my fries fresh if I just ask for it? I feel like that's that's too good to be true. Maybe if you're nice about it, but also they could take the old fries and then put them in the fryer for a few seconds and then call it new fresh fries. Second of all, you know we can just take the fries out of the thing and just put it back in the fryer for like five seconds and it burns all the salt off. So if you ask for unsalted fries, they'll literally unsalt your fries by putting them back in the fryer. The secret menu doesn't exist. The only secret is that you can literally customize any item on the menu basically, however you want and we'll do it. You mean you don't sell cakes in the back with Ronald McDonald on it? I thought that was a secret menu. I, I still don't know the deal with that. 99.9% of the time, the ice machine is not broken. There are three reasons why we usually do tell you the ice machine is broken. One, it's being cleaned. The ice machine is cleaned on the clock. No one comes in when we're closed and cleans it. Two, it's in heat mode, which is basically the ice cream in there is hot for whatever reason, so we can't use it. Three, if it's extremely busy and we're extremely understaffed, like I'm saying there's one person back here, a manager, one or two people in grill, and one person up front, and we are backed up with cars, a lot of the time, we'll just not serve ice cream until the rush is over. What if I come in on the rush wanting an ice cream? I ain't gonna get it. Ice cream machine broken. Also, what is all this about hot ice cream? You know, somehow I feel like they pour hot ice cream juice in the ice cream machine and then it like freezes it and then <laughs> it's ice cream. Was the ice cream once hot? I don't know. Also, y'all clean it every hour? So if you show up at like 7.01, no ice cream. 7.30, ice cream. Cool, good to know. <laughs> So one of the reasons for the spiral handle design is so that you can pour carbonated beverages down it without- What? Stop! That's so cool! How did I not know this? This is incredible! I've seen this done so many times on TikTok when I see tutorials of people making a fancy drink and I'm like, wait, how do you pour soda without it splashing? So this is a bartender trick where they pour it along the spoon. That's a long spoon. Also, don't they like grab it with their hands? It's just make it go down smoothly. It's like a slide for your soda. Hey, is this how they do it? Is this how they put the lids on can? Oh, it's real messy. They waste a lot of liquid and then they just clean them off after? Like you didn't just waste all that soda? Chip companies need to be taking notes. See how they fill it to the top? They're like, no, you get half a bag of chips plus free air. You know, this just seems very messy to me. I'm sure actual factories are a little more organized. <laughs> with a little less mess. 
At the Disney World Resort, they make huge gingerbread houses. And they're actually edible. Chefs made that. That is the biggest gingerbread house I have ever seen. How do people resist the urge not to like snatch some gingerbread every time they in the lobby. But anyways, after the holidays are over, they take it all apart and then they bring it to a farm and local bees in Florida get to feast on the house. Hey, they be eating good. Ugh, guess we'll eat the sugar so we can make our honey, you know, the superior sweetener. Hey, but they be eating good. They, be, they literally get to eat a whole house. But they do keep the structure so they can reuse it every year and build a new life-size gingerbread house. I wanna go see this. All right, so you got this side. You got this side. Yeah. I was looking at it and I was going, what? No, there's none of <laughs> Another one! No! Why does this look illegal? It's like you got the big mouth, you got the shaker side, and then the, the mini shaker. Are none of these holes good enough for you? You gotta go ahead and make another hole. You know, just take the whole cap off. Y'all still do this at restaurants? Oh, I have never seen anybody do this. Take the straw wrapper, add water, and it's alive. Ugh, squirming. Literally looks like a worm. Toss it on your younger sibling. Keep bending. I have never heard of these being reversible. This has got to be in the new games or something. Okay, that actually looks sick. You can reverse it and make it look like you got a special edition of the game. All right, that's cool. <laughs> I didn't know that. Hello friends, it's me. And today we're checking out some cool things that I learned on TikTok. This study shows that bees can't fly at night. What do the bees do? Do they just like drop dead? That's exactly what they did. Have you ever seen a dragon fruit plant? I haven't until I saw this video. Like they grow on these vines that kind of look like a cactus. She do be looking juicy. A dragon fruit tree? Sus. It kind of looked like they stuck them on there. So weird how they grow like that. But then I looked it up and yeah, look at this. Beautiful mythical tree. I want one. Some exotic fruit was like wild to me. But you just literally take them, pop them in half. You tell me we've been eating this the wrong time. I always look for scissors to like cut them open. Oh my God. But you just snap them in half like a glow stick. Except the glow stick does not snap in two, it just bends. But with the same force of cracking a glow stick. And then you have two of them. And then you can share. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna tell you two things about Toblerones that you probably didn't know. The first is no, the No, actually I'm a Toblerone is. expert. The second is something you probably didn't notice. Number one. This is the correct way to break it. You have to smoosh them together. Yes. I think I learned that from five minute crafts. Like I struggle to just bite the triangle off. That chocolate is hard. So you have to like squeeze the peaks together. Did you ever notice that bear? Yeah, it has nothing to do with the chocolate itself, but there is a bear on the mountain. Smash like if you see the bear. It's like once you see it, you can't unsee it. What if the meat of a fish was the color of the blue water? So there is fish with blue meat. Look, isn't that crazy? Salmon is like orange. Ahi tuna is like pink. And tilapia is like white. But blue? What are y'all feeding these fish? Some say they thrive off the blue Gatorade. Apparently it's some kind of chemical in their diet that turns them blue. And get this, when you cook them, it turns white. How does cooked blue fish turn white? I mean, it's like shrimp. When they're raw, they're gray. And when you cook them, they turn orange. Crazy how nature do that. Moose removes gum from your hair. Literally just like separates the gum. Really? I thought it was peanut butter. I thought you put peanut butter and it's supposed to get the gum out of your hair. But I've never tried it. No, I tried it once and it didn't work. Please don't let me know. She put gum in her hair just to test out this hack. Bro, that's dedication. Unless she was already going to get a haircut. Oh, wait. She just put it on the ends. That's smart. I would have put it up here <laughs> and went bald in the process. It, actually, it works. actually worked. All the gum is out. Moose will get gum out of your hair. Step one, don't get gum in your hair. I'm married to a genius. What's he doing? I was gonna say, eating crackers straight off the couch? Straight to jail. But no, he laid them out, dipped the knife in peanut butter, flipped it over, made a little peanut butter Ritz sandwich. That's pretty good. She is cutting up a shark egg. And you probably like, what? What do you mean? She took some scissors and they cut it up. It's supposed to not hurt the shark at all because it's just the egg. It's just freeing the baby shark. Did I just watch a shark unboxing? Let me just slip it open like it's a package. He's ready to be born. It does not hurt the shark in any way, so it is a-okay. 
You don't need a lint roller if you got water, baby. I did it accidentally when I couldn't find a lint roller. And what do you know? A life hack. What? You be putting lint rollers out of business if this actually works. Like, all you need is water and then just like. If I was wearing something that was covered in my dog's fur, I would test it out. But I'm not. Unique features that stand out to modeling agencies. Big foreheads. Sign me up! Just kidding, I don't want to be a model. Who knew Jeeps could do this? There is a hidden cooler. Yeah, when I got my Jeep, they told me about this. It's like under the carpet and you can put ice there and there is a hidden drain and it just like drains out the bottom of the car like it's peeing. I mean, technically the whole Jeep can be used as a cooler. They got drains like by your feet. So like you can like hose it down and like drain it. What can I say? This is off-road vehicle. I worked at McDonald's for three years and I'm just finding out the slides. The windows? It's been a few years since I dined in a McDonald's. Usually I would go when my Wi-Fi stops working. Then I would have to drive to the 24 hour McDonald's and get free Wi-Fi. I have not even noticed that the windows slide. Cool hack. Y'all fixed your ice cream machine yet? Is your ice cream machine working? It actually just broke, so. I'm 30 and I just found this out. One tea bag is too much for a cup. So what are you gonna do, use half a tea bag? You can rip a tea bag into two? They split it in half. I don't believe this, I'm gonna get a tea bag. I have some green tea. You know, open a new tea bag, oh. They are right. So if you want your tea bag to last twice as long or don't want it to be that strong, here's a tea bag. And look, have you noticed this hole? Because I have it. I separated it into two. You see that? Two, not one. Two tea bags. And then you just cut through the middle. I don't have scissors on me. But you can literally just like cut it. Not only do I have two tea bags, but I also have tea all over my keyboard and desk. Just be careful when cutting them. At least it smells good. Seasoning stuck, not coming out. It doesn't even have a grinder. This is just straight up seasoning. I did not know this because my turmeric has been stuck. I've been shoving my little pinky finger in the little holes, loosening up a little bit of the powder and then just like sprinkling it. But you telling me this whole time I could have just been like twisting it like an intelligent human being. You know these work vests? They're actually waterproof. She poured a bottle of water! That's one way to test if someone is waterproof. Why aren't bathing suits made of this material? So you can walk around with pocketfuls of water? Stick a straw in there when you get thirsty? Very useful. How to not be scared of flying from a real pilot, okay? So pretend this is the air that you're flying in, this jelly right here. And this napkin is the airplane, okay? Just trust me. And that is you flying through the sky. There's pressure from the bottom, pressure from the top, from the sides, pressure coming from everywhere, okay? You're safe. Just shoved in the jello. That napkin ain't going nowhere. Unless a giant spoon came out of the sky and penetrated the jello, scooping you up and into someone's mouth. What are the chances of that? There's turbulence. It's like this. You feel the plane shaking. But this is not just going to fall down, you know, it's stuck oh. in there because there's pressure coming from the bottom and the sides. So this is what turbulence is. I love turbulence, except that one time I was in the bathroom and there was no seat belt and suddenly the plane started lifting me up off the toilet seat and slammed my head on the ceiling. I thought I had a concussion. Otherwise, when I'm in my seat with a seat belt on, I'm gonna just lay back like a psychopath and enjoy the turbulence. It's like a fun ride. You can just chill there, you're just wriggling in jelly. It's not gonna automatically fall just cause it's shaking. And there's never been a plane crash from turbulence, so you do not have to be scared, okay? When you're in a plane and you feel turbulence, just imagine yourself in jelly like this. So next time you're afraid of the turbulence, just know that you are safe. We're in a cup of jelly. We're safe. But not from giant spoons. New life hack. Wait a second, did he do what I thought he did? If you select all the floors, it's gonna go the first floor, then the second floor, then the third floor. And I thought there was no way to unselect them because you can't just press them and not go there. The elevator is just gonna stop at every floor. But if you hold that button, you can deselect them. What? So some people, before they get off the elevator, they like to press every single button to inconvenience the next person that gets on because then the elevator has to stop at every floor. But there is a way to undo this. I gotta mess around with the elevator and find out. I was told this is the correct way to wear sweatpants. Okay, some sweatpants, they have the drawstrings on the inside. I feel like if they're too big, you can do this. You just like fold over the waistband and they'll fit better. From my experience, it just gives you a camel toe. I was 20 years old to discover that you have to rub 
the top of Nando's bottle to get the sauce to come out. Really? What? Oh, they're at Nando's. I wish we had a Nando's here. Their chicken is so good. So you telling me all you have to do is rub it? Like in a circle? That's it. Rub it like a genie lamp. Maybe make a wish while you're at it. Am I the only person that just realized this? So the lid that goes on top of a grinder, it's not just there to make it look pretty. It's so that when you do this, it all stays there at the bottom. And when you open it, you can sprinkle it yeah. however you like. Did people not know this? Cause I do this. Like if you need a lot of salt, like you just do it with the lid. You just sprinkle it over your food. If you didn't know, now you do. One of the most important things I learned in law school is that your right to remain silent is just that. Remain silent. Yeah, remaining silent is like, shut up, don't say anything. I thought that was obvious. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law, but nothing you say can be used in your favor. Don't deny, don't admit, don't offer an alibi, even if you are completely innocent. Any lawyer will tell you that you should not speak to the police at all, other than to affirmatively invoke your right to remain silent and that you want an attorney present at any questioning. That's it, that's all. What's your name? I have the right to remain silent. And <laughs> Next time I get in trouble, I'll let you know if this works. Do you know what happens once you get to the funeral home? Well, Katie's about to show us what we do here at Return Home, and this is called Flow of Body. Wait a second, do I wanna find out? So when you die and go to the funeral home, this is what happens to your body. We gently slide someone over onto one of our body boards where we're then able to make them a little ID tag that stays on until the terramation takes place. Are you naked when this happens? Cooch and gooch out? We then put the label on the person's leg and continue by placing a head block under their head so that if the family wants to view them, that they look good. And then Katie's gonna cover Mr. Skelly until he's ready for his bath. We give everyone a bath because we think they should go into their vessel clean. And then we dress them in a compostable garment that's custom made for them. Where was this treatment when I was alive? So everybody gets a little sponge bath, get a little massage. After his bath, Mr. Skelly is ready to go into his vessel where family can then take time to put things like letters, cards, or even little jelly beans in with him. Once they've had their time, we place the remaining organics, we close the vessel, and it stays closed until the person is transformed into soil. Interesting. I need to take a little forever nap on it haystack and then they shut the door finally some peace and quiet i did not like finding that out you know if i died i don't know what i would want you know the bath and body works candles or like any candles that comes in like a really cool jar and when you're done with a candle don't you like look at the jar and be like dang this will make a nice little container but it's got candle gunk and these ugly stickers on it so there's a tutorial to turning this into this look it's clean she made a light out of it so you freeze the candle overnight and then you put it upside down and just like slam it a few times against the counter and it just pops out like a forbidden cookie spray some cleaning spray and then soak for 30 minutes to an hour and then it's nice and clean it's like a fancy glass jar put some leds in it and you've got a light hello friends it's me and today we're checking out some cool things that i learned on tiktok on the playground you have this spiral spaghetti looking thing the rotini of the playground i thought you were supposed to climb up them but we got her sliding down it my entire childhood we've been doing this wrong i would climb it like an awkward ladder how did she figure this out who told these new kids are smarter than we thought. She's just sliding down. How does she know this? This looks a lot more fun now that I know that I've missed out on it my entire childhood. And I will never be small enough to slide through the spirals. Another loofah is ready to harvest. Did he say loofah? Like the thing you wash yourself with? You grow them on a tree? Until it's like ready a because cocoa it's bee? a little bit squishy, a little bit airy, and it kind of looks he like gotta a gotta be trolling. Ha! The top already that was came aggressive. Off, so take a look. Okay, here we go with a perfect peel. Let's see if we can get it. Oh yeah. Every it looks like a dried up fat Look banana. No curve. Slides right out. What kind of vegetable is this? I can let this dry a little bit. There's some seeds in there that I want to take out, but I just grew myself another bath sponge. Oh, I've seen those. You know when you go to like the Whole Foods or something and they got those all natural sponges? I never thought about where they came from, but this dude grew himself a bath sponge you know, on my loofah tree. I mean, if you ask me, I would have thought they came from the ocean or something. Well, I guess we know where loofahs come from now. Did you know that you could stop a domino wall from falling? No way. How? With the force? Are you a Jedi? He actually stopped it by just holding a piece in place? He's gotta have the power of the force. What about all the other pieces? They just stopped right in their tracks. He really said, Domino, stop. And it worked. 
You are packing your luggage wrong. Instead of laying your luggage down and shoving everything in your bag, you're supposed to fold everything and put them in vertically. Look how much more clothes you can fit. That is a lot of clothes. I didn't think that many clothes could fit in a small luggage and you got even more space. They could fit so many things in there. I'm gonna try this next time I travel. I just found a blue stop sign. I feel so much more polite than the red ones. I feel like a red one's like, stop. But a blue one's like, stop. It's so chill. Like red? No, stop. You violated the law. The blue? Yeah, you can stop. It's okay. So on private properties, they have blue stop signs, but in public places, they have red ones. So you can choose your level of stop aggression. This is what you're really ordering at McDonald's. Yes, it is a frozen patty. It's still a burger, still meat, and looks like meat when you cook it. Frozen meat kind of does look like a hockey puck, but when you cook it, it is meat. You're telling me you throw frozen burgers on the grill? I mean, I'm no boyga expert, but don't you have to wait for it to defrost? I refuse to believe this is how a sea cucumber eats. Oh, is that a sea cucumber? No way. <laughs> I didn't think I'd have so much in common with a sea cucumber. It's just grabbing things and just shoving it down its hole. Dang, little lady, you sure can't put it away. It's like having several hands and just... <laughs> Careful you don't eat your little sea hand too. That's actually pretty cool. Let's see what we can grab from the garden to make dinner. Grabbing some asparagus. Hold up, were any of you aware that asparagus grows like this? Like in a single stalk. Really? They just come out of the ground like that. I don't know what I was expecting. I thought they would at least like grow in a bunch, but just like random sticks of asparagus. Oh, it's ready. Snip. That doesn't seem very practical. <laughs> See this little slit? Don't open your popcorn yet. Oh, the why have I never thought of this? So before you even open the bag, you shake out the kernels. All these years, I've just been avoiding them like they little landmines. But you can get them out before you even open the bag. You know, I actually learned so many things from TikTok. It's crazy. Do short people know that your seatbelt is not supposed to strangle you? Look over your left shoulder. Lots of cars have a handy seatbelt lowerer. You're gonna adjust your seatbelt height on the side? I just thought cars had a thing against short people. You sit in baby seat or you get strangled. You sit in baby seat or you get strangled by seatbelt. Choose one. We have quite an abundant orange tree. Look at all that fruit. Hey, what'd you do? Just make a basket under it? How are you gonna get the oranges down? Just wait for them to fall? Oh, <gasps> they didn't wait. They waited three seconds. They shook that tree dry. <laughs> Dropping oranges from all the trauma. Is that really how they do? I thought somebody like climbs up there and hand picks them and puts them in a basket. No, they have a professional tree shaker device. Time to de-orange the tree. <laughs> Maybe they think it's music and they do it a little jig. Life hacks you'll thank me for part 11. Did you know that the lines on a solo cup can actually act as measurement marks for alcohol measurements? This line right here is equivalent to a pint of beer. The next line down is 12 ounces, which is a standard beer bottle size. This line is five ounces, which is approximately one serving of wine. And this one is one fluid ounce, which equals a shot. Hey, that's pretty good. It's got like built-in measurements. It's like a Starbucks cup. And next time I wanna measure a serving size of orange juice. Okay, but what's a mega pint? Is a solo cup equipped to measure that? If you need to freeze ice cubes in a pinch, use hot water instead of cold water it actually freezes faster this is actually called the mapemba effect hot water freezes faster i'm gonna have to test this one out because i don't believe it for a second you told me i put hot water in my freezer and it's gonna freeze faster also this is triggering me how you are filling up the ice cubes to fill these up faster you're supposed to make the water hit the little square sections and it'll make the entire ice cube tray fill up faster and evenly you ever wondered how your ice maker makes ice cubes? You don't just put it in a tray, let it freeze, and then just like let it rip. Well, somebody stuck a camera inside their ice maker. Forbidden footage. I feel like I'm not allowed to be watching this. Where's the ice? Oh, there it is. It's coming out the back. Here they come. Six whole ice cubes. Just like launched right there. They were on those spikes. You just like, you know, you can let them down a little gently next time. And nothing like being home alone and you hear the ice maker just... It was the ice maker, right? Cool thing you didn't know about Target. Let's go. Oh. You know, instead of reaching your hand inside the fridge, you can pull this little tab. Not to you, go to yogurt. Yogurt, come to you. Like you are some sort of divine being. She was today years old when she found out what the tip of the peeler was for. There is a use for the tip of the peeler? What do you do with it? 
Oh, it's like a little scooper for the blemishes on your potato. Yeah, I think it's easier to just peel over them a few times. Like it's an actual extraction tool. I didn't even know there was a use for it. You know, imagine inventing all these cool products with all these extra uses and then nobody knows how to use them. Nobody's known for years. Only a select few have known for years until TikTok. Why are eggplants called eggplants? Because when they're growing, they look like little eggs. Oh, would you look at that? That sure does look like an eggplant to me. They start out as like white egg-shaped plants and then become massive and purple. They're also called aubergine. You know these lawn chairs? It actually has a secret hole for an umbrella. And you can just like pop the umbrella right in there and it fits? It's like a one size umbrella type of deal. And you've got the whole setup, the cup holder, umbrella, chair, all in one. For the comfiest of Americans. You ever wonder why these crackers have these ridges on them? They are to cut your cheese. Uh, look at no that. No way. Perfect size and everything. That's gotta be cap. No way. Is that what it's actually for? Were cracker makers really that smart? Not only is it a cracker, but it is also a knife to cut your cheese. No way, that's gotta be cap. No, I cut my cheese thick. You working with a pathetic slice of cheese. It was no match for the ridges on the cracker. Now, I gotta try this out. Who closes the door after the bus driver leaves the bus? The bus driver closes the door, right? But how? He didn't make it off this time. Gotta try again. Oh no. Oh, almost got his foot out. Oh, it's stuck. Will the bus driver ever make it off the bus? Oh, there we go. Third time's a charm. There's actually a little button you can press to open and close the door from the outside. I know, crazy. Those Glad air fresheners, you've been doing it wrong. Wait, so you're not supposed to like unscrew the bottom and leave it like that? Let the fragrance flow throughout the air? Then why does it open? You open the top of it. Oh, I didn't even know the top part could open. Seems like you like did it by force. But that looks like it makes more sense. Like it unscrews open, you pull it open, and wham bam, your bathroom doesn't smell like doo-doo anymore, ma'am. Smells like lavender doo-doo. So you know when you get a six pack of soda and you have to like peel the pesky plastic off? Well, you don't have to anymore. Unfold them, put them in straight. Okay, but the plastic is still ugly. And also you still have to pull it off if you want one. This bugs me. Airplane hack. If you're sitting in the aisle and cannot put your armrest up, there is a hidden button under the armrest. Oh. Whoa, and you could just put it up? Why are they hiding this from the public? I guess if the first button doesn't work, you have a backup button that will lift your armrest, okay? Why is this such a secret? Why do I feel like this should have a function? I spent 30 minutes, why is this here? It's a paper clip for your towel, clearly. Oh, we're gonna make it have a function. Oh, okay. You know, I'm not sure if it was supposed to have a function or that's just the design, but sometimes the design can have a function and if it's gonna help you rip one slice at a time, then that is good enough for me. Today, I scrubbed down here and, and like, that's a button, right? So a I button was on your toilet. years old when I found out you could just, oh. Excuse me while I go disconnect my toilet. You mean there's buttons? You can just like pop it apart and then clean under it? If you've ever cleaned a toilet, there's like a forbidden zone where the seat and bowl connect. That's usually disgusting and filled with piss particles. And if you just disconnect it, it's like so much easier to clean.